Welcome to today's video and today I want to share with you my personal experiences on a vegan diet. I have been vegan about one year now and I think now is the time to make a little resume and share with you what my experiences have been this far. So, um, yeah, well, as you might know, there are many different directions of being vegan. You have the high carb people who say you have to eat mainly carbohydrates and as little fat as possible. And you also have the low carb people who are quite the opposite and say, yeah, no, your best food source is fat and some and protein, but you should really avoid the carbs because the carbs are the devil. Sugar and starches make you fat. That's what, that's what the low carb people advocate. Then you have the raw foodists mm, who eat only raw food and say that cooked food is not good simply because too much of the nutrition, enzymes and minerals, vitamins are destroyed when you cook the food. So that's their perspective and then you have the people who eat just normal cooked food who say no, cooked food also has to be part of a healthy diet also because some foods are even or the values even enhanced when you cook them like for instance with tomatoes so then you have also a direction which is called raw till four um, um, where you eat raw food until four o'clock in the afternoon and then you have a cooked dinner and that's by the way also where I started off um, and then of course last but not least you have the so-called junk food vegans well I like to call them that way because um, I think also that vegan doesn't have to be healthy if you see all the things which you get in the stores nowadays you have so much convenience food which is so easy to prepare you basically just put it in the microwave and you eat it then <clears throat> So this is no better than uh, normal uh, pizza which you can just have in the oven and eat. So all these convenience vegan things are highly processed and in my opinion just trash. So please don't eat that stuff. Okay, but now my story. So when I started last year that was also about this time of the year, about February, then I discovered the videos by Freely the Banana Girl and Durian Rider and I was quite yeah, quite skeptic to their concept first that you should eat so much fruits, particularly fruits and but also vegetables, and that this could be healthy in any way. But so I would decide to okay, I will try this for one week. I will do this one week. Okay, so I did this um, for a week, and then I noticed that. Ah oh man, this is really good. This is really beneficial for the digestion, for the energy levels. Because, I mean, this kind of food, this um, high carbohydrate food and with focus on low processed food is really simple to digest. And yeah, well, I found this was working really well. Okay, so, but I felt like, yeah, but okay, this vegan thing, there are more directions. Maybe there is something which is even better, which can be even more beneficial. So I, um, going away a bit from this high carb raw till four thing, I decided to try some more fat in my diet. So I incorporated some more fat. Inspired for that, I was by this book. Might have heard of it. Um, Brandon Brazier wrote this book, The Thrive Diet, and. What I really like about this book is that it's about this whole concept is that the focus is on whole foods. That he's advocating that you should eat as little processed food foods as possible and I think this is a really great thing and I think this should be the main focus of any diet, that you have as little processed foods as possible. So um, I tried that, kind of a lot of fat in my diet but I noticed man now I'm just feeling heavy and it's no it's not really my thing so um, after trying that and also also what he does is he has um, quite a lot more protein in his diet he's using hemp protein powder and actually this I can say is the only thing which is now something which I took from him and other than that I pretty much returned to the 
high carb diet. So I'm eating a lot of carbohydrates now, again, about 80% of my daily intake comes from carbohydrates, 10% from um, protein and 10% from fats. So I have to say this works really well for me and I can just recommend to try it. It's, it's including lots of fruits and vegetables um, and also cooked food if you like, if you're like this concept of raw till four where you eat cooked food and um, where you eat raw food until four o'clock and then you have a cooked dinner. So I have to say that there I'm feeling very much at home now and um, yeah I will continue to do that and observe and see how it is going for me. By the way the book which is also very much recommended to read is this The 80-10-10 Diet by Dr. Douglas Graham. Um, well actually this is a raw food diet but uh, what I'm doing now is this 80 to 10 concept but translated to a diet which includes lots of raw food but also cooked food. So I hope that it was interesting for you to watch my video and um, to hear my story. I'm super interested in your story, what are your experiences so please post comments down below and if you like this video give it, give it a thumbs up and yeah well if you like this video and other, vi other videos, I would also be happy if you subscribe to my channel. So, have a good time, enjoy, and don't forget your banana smoothie.